Mm -hmm. Mother Teresa said that peace begins with a smile. Let's be honest, there are more than five reasons to visit Peace Park in Hiroshima, but today we're going to focus on five. Number one, the Atomic Bomb Dome. The Hiroshima Peace Memorial, originally the Hiroshima Prefectural Industrial Promotion Hall, and now commonly called the Genbaku Dome, Atomic Bomb Dome, or A-Bomb Dome, is part of the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park in Hiroshima, Japan, and was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1996. There are not too many places on this planet where you can see a preserved building that has been hit by an atomic bomb. This is one of the many reasons why this building here is called the A-Bomb Dome. Being close to the hypocenter, the Hiroshima Prefectural Industrial Promotion Hall was heavily damaged and completely burned by the atomic bomb. Everyone in the building died instantly. However, because the blast struck from nearly directly above, the building did not collapse, leaving the dome's iron frame and thus its symbolic appearance. You can see the ruins here in Peace Park where it serves as a memorial to the over 140,000 people who were killed in the atomic bombing of Hiroshima on the 6th of August, 1945. It's near the Motoyasu Tea Bridge, which was the original target for the bombers. For the people of Hiroshima, it is a daily reminder of what happened. And for those who visited, it is a reminder of what we need to do to work together for a more peaceful world. Reason two, the story of Sadako Sasaki. This is our cry, this is our prayer. Peace in the world. That is what is written on the plaque for the memorial statue to Sadako Sasaki here in the Peace Park. Sadako Sasaki was two years old on August 6, 1945, when a U.S. Air Force B-29 bomber airplane dropped the little boy atomic bomb over the city of Hiroshima. With a population in Hiroshima of approximately 350,000 and over 140,000 people that instantly died, Sadako Sasaki was a girl who survived, at least on the day of August 6. Unfortunately, she died from leukemia, from the effects of the bombing, and her story is a powerful one. The cancer Sadako received was likely caused by the radioactive black rain that fell on Sadako in Hiroshima on the day of the bombing. At a glance, Sadako was cheerful and healthy, and that is why it was a surprise that at the age of 12, she began to show cancer symptoms and needed to be admitted to the hospital. She stayed positive and received many paper cranes from the Red Cross Youth Group, which the Japanese legend says that they help people who are sick to become well again. Japanese folklore says that a crane can live for a thousand years, and a person who folds a crane for each of a crane's life will have their wish granted. Inspired, Sadako had her own purpose and passion to fold a thousand paper cranes to fill her hospital room. Sadly, her wish did not come true, but she did not lose her faith folding large and small paper cranes until her last moments. Sadako passed away with over 1,300 origami cranes in her hospital room at the age of 12. Her positive attitude and spirit encouraged her classmates and friends to raise money for a monument for her, as well as other children who died due to atomic bombings, and it went up in 1958. Millions have visited this statue and have been inspired by her story since. This is our cry. This is our prayer. Peace in the world. Number three, the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum. The museum had a huge renovation on April 25th, 2019, after 12 years of formal planning. The main building was first opened in 1955, but then since 2017, it had been closed to do these renovations, which included protection against earthquakes and reinforcing its structure. The Peace Memorial Museum here in Hiroshima is a must-see and a very emotional experience. It is the most popular of Hiroshima's destinations for school field trips from all over Japan and for international visitors too. 53 million people had visited the museum from its opening in 1955 through 2005 averaging over 1 million visitors per year. 
The museum explains and is not limited to the history of the city before the bomb, the lives of the citizens during the war and after, as well as info about the nuclear age, efforts of international peace, the damage of the bomb, its victims and their belongings, and even projection mapping that can demonstrate the effects of the bomb's blast. Number four, the many other monuments in the park. It is difficult to list them all, but some of the monuments include a memorial cenotaph, which contains all of the names of the people killed by the atomic bomb. Every year on August 6th, Hibaksha, or those officially deemed affected by the atomic bombing, who passed away in the last year, their names are added to the memorial. The Peace Flame, which was lit in 1964 and will continue to burn until all nuclear weapons are disposed of. Three peace bells that can be rung and when struck, strike a mark of an atomic symbol. The Atomic Memorial Mound, dedicated to 70,000 unidentified victims. The Cenotaph to Korean victims, which is believed to be dedicated to over 45,000. The Ten Gates of Peace added in 2005, with peace written on them in over 49 languages. The gates represent the nine gates of hell, plus one. The Memorial Tower to the Mobilized Students, of over 10,000 students who died in the war for the bombing. And over 50 more memorial monuments and statues. Number five, Peace Park Tour. A recently offered 80 minute tour is here at the rest house in Peace Park given by English and Japanese bilingual staff of the Peace Culture Village. The tour focuses on Hiroshima's history and the experiences of local people. Participants walk through the park, formerly the bustling hub of Nakajima, learning about the atomic bombing, connect with the lost culture and community of Nakajima, and reflect on the meaning of peace in our own lives with a chance for output. For more information on the tour, check out links in the description. This video was uploaded on August 6th, the day the bomb was dropped on Hiroshima in 1945. Every year on August 6th, there are many events on this day, including a ceremony in front of the memorial cenotaph and a declaration of peace, flower giving, and songs. In the evening, the city paints their prayers on lanterns, and sends them afloat down the river. We'd love for you at some point in your life to come and visit this beautiful town and see it all, especially if you have the chance on August 6th. As said before, I think there are countless reasons to visit the Hiroshima Peace Park, and I think we cheated a little bit and listed more than five. Hope to see you in Hiroshima. And if it's for an extended time, let us know because our company helps with short and long-term stay here in Japan. No matter where you are in the world, remember, peace begins with a smile.